Hey Divi Nation, thanks for stopping by our documentation to learn about Divi's right-click controls. So why put controls on right-click? Well, we've noticed that there are several actions that people like to take on the fly while they're editing content, um, and we wanted to make it really easy to access those settings. So all you have to do is right-click on any section, module, or row to reveal a number of options that you can use to edit that section or to make changes or to even copy those settings or content to another part of your website. So in this video, we're going to show you how to do all of that. So stay tuned. Check it out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Divi's right click controls. Now, whenever you right click on something with the Divi builder or the visual builder enabled, uh, whether it be a module, a row or a section, uh, you'll get a list of these different actions that can be performed. And these actions include things like undo, uh, redo, uh, save to library, disable, lock, copy module, copy style, uh, paste style, things like that. And you may be familiar with many of these functions already uh, because they are fairly common. And this is why we've added them to the right click controls, because we wanted to make it really convenient for you to to make adjustments. And this way you don't have to dig into the module settings, for example, to access these features. Um, and, and some of these uh, settings are actually unique to the right click functionality. Uh, things like uh, copy and paste and uh, the lock uh, feature. Uh, these can only be found within the right click controls. So um, as you can see right now, I have, um, I'm using the visual builder and I've right clicked on my text module up here. And so uh, with these options, one of the things I could do is um, copy the module. Um, and if I copy the module, I'll just need to uh, select, I'm sorry, right click on add new module and then paste module. That'll just add another one under there. So um, as you can tell, I, it's a helpful feature. If I wanted to um, make a copy of the module, I could add it anywhere on my site with convenience. Um, another uh, helpful uh, tip here is if I'm hovering over a module, uh, all I really have to do is um, click or I'm sorry, hold down command um, C. Um, to copy and then command V. Um, if I'm using a uh, Windows, it would be uh, control C and control V to copy and paste. So the little short code tip for you as well. Um, so aside from the copy a module and paste a module, um, you can also uh, copy only the style of a certain module. Now the, as it is right now, you, you really need to, um, this only applies to the same module. So if you have two text modules, but you, you really want to carry over the design, uh, styles of one to another, uh, you can do that. Uh, let's say for example, I want to add a new, uh, header and, um, add a text module here. And I'm going to go ahead and add a new header. Give this a um, an H1 here tag. And you can see uh, that it doesn't really match the header that I have up here. Uh, so I can go ahead and right click on the one that I want and click uh, copy style. And then hover over the new header that I created. Paste, I'm sorry, and uh, click paste style. You can see that it automatically updates the header with the style settings that I have in this header here. So really, really helpful and convenient way to carry over one style to another module. And let's say that I don't want to do that and I want to uh, undo this. So what I can do here is press this uh, uh, right click and click undo that'll undo the style that I just created. I can keep clicking on that um, if I want to undo 
uh, the features that I've been editing. Um, you can also use the short code uh, command uh, Z uh, and undo as well. If I wanted to redo, um, you would right click and select redo to apply those settings back or those customizations that you've made back to the site. May take a few times, but we'll get there. There we go. You can see it appearing. Redo. And one more, I think we'll do it. So there you go. Undo, redo uh, by a click of a button. Very helpful. And of course, if um, you want to, you can use the more traditional way of uh, deploying the menu at the bottom of the visual builder and going to your uh, editing history here. And I could uh, go back to my uh, whatever uh, edit I wanted to uh, go back to and select it from my editing history. Now these right click controls also work when you're editing from the back end here of your builder. And so if I right click on any of these items, you'll see a right click control menu pop up much like the one we saw in the visual builder. So again, uh, both of the, uh, the visual builder and the uh, regular backend builder here have the option of using the right click controls. Um, so uh, for instance, if I wanted to save this item, this blurb to my library, I could just simply right click, click save to library and it'll pop up the, uh, it'll skip a step for me there and, and bring me straight to the settings where I can um, enter my template name and all that. All right, so let's go back to our visual builder and let's look at another option. Uh, this option is the disable option. Let's say I want to disable this row from showing up on desktop uh, and I only want it to show up on phones and tablets. Um, you may uh, traditionally go to uh, your row settings here, uh, click on advanced uh, tab and then click on visibility and there you'll find your disable on option there. Well, instead of clicking, you know, three or four times to get to there, you can simply right click on the item and click disable and then it pops up the icons of the devices that I want to disable it on and I can click it um, on all of them or none of them. Uh, if you notice that now that I have uh, the desktop disabled and because I'm viewing it in a desktop it shows as being faded out. Uh, this is helpful to just kind of remind you that this item will not be uh, visible on desktop. All right. Now, let's take a look at the last option within the right click menu. Um, and that's the locking uh, capability. If I wanted to, and this is unique to the right click controls, if I wanted to lock an item in place and not have the ability to edit it anymore, or maybe I have other people working on the site and I want to protect it from any edits, uh, of like being moved around or anything like that, I could simply uh, right click on the element and click lock. And now when I hover over it, you'll see that it's highlighted in red and it has a lock icon there and I can't really do anything to it. And to, if you don't, if you want to unlock it, just simply right click and, and press unlock. And so before I go, I just wanted to maybe show you a, an example of how to use this feature when building a site. Um, the right controls can come in handy. Uh, let's say uh, I wanted to add another one of these, uh, a few of these person modules down here. You know, your uh, options would include maybe duplicating them and dragging them around. Um, but uh, since you have a knowledge of the right click controls, 
Uh, one quick way you could do it is uh, right clicking on your module, copying your module, and then uh, instead of having to drag that around and um, maybe that's a little bit inconvenient, uh, you can just, you know, go to the sp spot in your site where you want to add it. Maybe I want to add a four column row there. And then I simply paste my module there once I decide where I want to put it. And since it's already saved to my clipboard there, um, I could use some of the my uh, nifty short codes to hover over the space that I want and I can actually hold down my control button and press V. So control V there works um, to add these elements very quickly, uh, saving another step of even having to right click, um, but and, and also control Z uh, or command if you're using Mac uh, control or command uh, Z would uh, undo these these elements um, or I could simply do the uh, right click and, and continually pasting my module as many times as I want and then uh, undoing it as well using my right click menu very convenient, especially using it in the visual builder so you can see it uh, in real time, all these changes taking place. All right, that concludes our overview of how to use the right click controls.